war, a real special one, and we've got a report on that right now. Randy Rhodes has plenty to be pleased about since he teamed up with Ozzy Osbourne. The editors of Guitar Player Magazine have just presented the hard-driving guitarist with the Best New Talent Award for 1981. In San Francisco, MTV Music Television joined the awards ceremony. Randy, on behalf of the over half a million readers of Guitar Player Magazine in the U.S. and in 70 countries throughout the world, I'd like to present you with the 1981 Best New Talent Award. Congratulations. Thank you. What did Randy have to say? When they told me, I thought they were joking, because Sharon always jokes with me anyway. And she called me one day and told me, and uh, I just didn't believe it. I, for a week, still, I didn't believe it, you know, because I'm, I'm really proud and honored, and I don't want to stop here, you know. In San Francisco with Randy Rhodes, this is Joanne Green for MTV Music Television. Watch this. England's Ozzy Osbourne. He used to head the group Black Sabbath. He's on his own now. Ozzy embellishes his hard rock music with dabs of witchcraft, myth, and magic. And as you are about to see, his performance is definitely not for the squeamish. Anyone that's looking slightly normal is not allowed in. And we advise anyone that is pregnant or, is, or, or who is suffering from a nervous disposition is advised not to, return, not to attend. And the Aussie organization takes no responsibility for your mental health after the show. Ozzy Osbourne, Pop's Prince of Darkness, whose gothic rock shows are like having Halloween all year round, opted for a life in music when he discovered that crime didn't pay. Well, I used to be a burglar, a very bad burglar. I ended up, ended up getting put in prison. I, came, I could never keep a job, so uh, I just, somebody said, do you fancy having a, having a go at singing? I said, yeah, sure, and it just took off from there. asked Ozzy what ordinary people make of his bizarre presence. People take me or leave me. I mean, I'm just Ozzy Osbourne, and I always will be Ozzy Osbourne. I'm not going to be like Frank Sinatra. I mean, you couldn't imagine me like this going, I'll do it my way, and all that, you know. I'm, I'm a likable madman. I'm like a fun madman. I'm like a clown madman. I mean, in the respect that as long as people are happy, and I can make people happy, then I'll do anything to, to do it as, uh, in, with, with any insanity. Who's got the right to say who's mad and who's not? I mean, what's more insane than building a, a, a bomb to blow us all to bits? Or me getting on the stage and uh, in my crazy way into entertaining people? Who's, who's the crazy one? One of the most outrageous shows in rock and roll belongs to the very controversial Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, recently, our rock expert, Bob Coburn from KLOS FM Radio, had a chance to meet the madman himself and find out what's behind the act. 
He says he's from an ordinary working class family, but there's nothing ordinary about Ozzy Osbourne. His shows are like something you've never seen before. In fact, we can't even show you all of what he does on stage. But after talking with Ozzy Osbourne, believe me, there is a method to his madness. Anyone looking slightly normal is not allowed in. Anyone suffering from n a nervous disposition or pregnant is advised not to attend. And anyone, and the Aussie organization takes no responsibility to your mental health after the show. <laughs> For 12 years, Ozzy played with the legendary heavy metal band, Black Sabbath. The break came because Ozzy felt held back creatively and needed a new outlet. Well, what happened was, at first, I thought my whole world was shattered. I, I, I walked out and I thought, well, I'll pack it all in. And I thought, well, I'll resign and go home and just live on the past and look at my gold discs and my scrapbooks and whatnot and just, that's it, you know. But I lasted about a week doing that until I found my manager up. And it was, uh, a long period of time went by before I could actually find a musician to kick the thing up. I've read, Ozzy, that you've had visions of your life and your death. What does that mean and how do you apply that to your music? It, I, I've, I've had this thing from a very small child, I used to have these dreams, which I can still can't, I can't put, I mean, I've been to psychosis about this. I have dreams of my life and my death. I believe that I'm here for, for some, some reason. I don't, know, I don't know why, I don't know what the hell it's all about. But Ozzy now is on his own. Ozzy now is, is, a, is, a, is attempting to do the unknown, you know. I mean, whatever I come out with will be, will be well worked out. I mean, the, the story of a madman isn't just a thing that I've thought of now. It's an idea of what I've moulded around in my head for ages. And in actual fact, when I put, put it to my management, I thought I was totally insane. I said, you're mad. You've got to be crazy. You can't never do this. You can't throw blood in the air and offal into the audience. I said, why not? Crazy! It's just like a, a like a, um, uh, a fun thing, you know. It's just like a fun madness. It's like I think everyone, everyone has got a certain amount of craziness in them, and I'm the guy to. Um,